YouTube, there is no firearms in this video. Welcome back to the Loki Ergoner YouTube channel. This video is going to be a quick look at the Buckrail Buck Ants book older thingies. Let's jump right into it. Basically, Terry at Buckrail uses some B-Man 2027 and 2028, I believe, stocks to make some book holders to prevent your books from falling on the side and make it look nice and stuff. I'm acting like I know anything about books, but... To make it short, Buckrail also offers a very nice custom carbine for the Beeman style pistols, so you don't need that anymore. Wasting is not cool, and this is cool, so good job, Terry. I will start with the only thing that I don't like about it, and it is not related to Buckrail. This pistol grips literally feels like sandpaper, and it rips all of my microfiber clots apart when I try to clean it up. That's the only thing that I don't like about it. Just so you know, I did use some ballistol on it, and it did bring a lot of shine back, and it looked better. It also helped to hide a bit of the varnish problems that Beeman has. This is also not Buckrail's fault. There is a few blemishes at a few spots, but that's no big deal. They look very good and you can't really tell. Hopefully you can see that. My dollar star fish scale says this weight 1.91 pound. Let's try the other one just for fun. I got 1.96 pounds on this one, so just under 2 pounds for each piece. Terry does say this on his website, but I wanted to try my dollar store fish scale. Fuck it! According to Terry's very nice description, this is 11 inch, it is 5 inch this way, and it is 6 inches this way. This Metal plate is one eight of an inch in fifty fifty two aluminium powder coated satin black. Ye it is designed, cut, bent, shaped, coated, and assembled in the USA. Basically, all of this recycling started from a joke that Terry's sister made, and Terry made it happen. By the way, these screws are very nicely countersunk and looks good. I don't really know what much more to say, so let's put it to the test. By the way, there is no rubber or whatever on the bottom, but I was surprised to see how good it works, and I will show you that right now. By the way, I assume that you have more books than this, but you need at least four to five inches of books to start, you know, spreading the things, you know. In fact, you need three and a half inch to clear this, or, you know, put books on it. If this info matters, tell me, because I don't even know why I'm saying it. Don't do that, okay? Alright, so I got a bunch of old books on there. Probably more than my little folding table wants to support, but... It works. So this stuff is very stable. I can swing it around like that and nothing moves. There is no rubber under there and I'm on melamine. I, I don't know if that's how you say it in English. De la melamine. And this is pretty much the most slippery surface that you, you can have. So it will stay on your shelf, I assume, because, you know, I'm shaking the table, that's not supposed to happen unless you live in an art earthquake zone. Let's try to remove one. At first I thought that not having rubber or something would be a problem, but books are standing up by themselves for the most part, and this is only to keep them straight, so it works very good. Overall, the perfect product for your home or office. You can even spray some ballistol on it for it to smell like home. This will be about it for today. 
hope you guys enjoyed this quick overview of the Buck Ants book holders. A special thanks to Terry for sending me this even though I don't have books but my girlfriend is very happy about her birthday present. By the way Terry knew that it was a gift from my girlfriend and he still sent me that so he's an awesome sponsor and YouTube is not a sponsor okay. Also, if you want to thank Oshoot for the audio, make sure to use his Buckrail affiliate link. Thanks for watching and I will see y'all in the next one.